رسول الله يا رسول الله يا نبي الحب والإخاء يا رسول الله يا حبيب الله يا نبي الخير والعطاء نحمده ونسلي ونسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد رسوله النبي الأمين المكين الحنين الكريم الرؤوف الرحيم أما بعد فوز بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فالذين آمنوا به وأزروه ونسروه واتبعوا النور الذي أنزل معه أولئك هم المفلحون صدق الله العظيم Dear viewers, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the utmost blessings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, we are going to start, inshallah, with a series of lectures on a very important and a significant topic. And the topic is the nisbah, the relationship, the link of an ummati, of a follower, with his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in the light of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. How should the link, the nisbah, the rapt, the ta'alluq ummati of a follower be with his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? And inshallah, these series of lectures will inshallah tell us in the light of the Qur'an and the Sunnah that how should we as a Muslim, as a believer, as an ummati, as a follower of Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam attach ourselves with him. First of all, I would like to thank Noor TV for providing me the platform in which, inshallah, I get a chance to speak on this important topic. Alhamdulillah, Noor TV is doing a great job of enlightening the hearts of the people, the hearts of its viewers, with the love of Allah and His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. I would like to congratulate Hazrat Peer Alauddin Siddiqui Sahib for his great efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him a long life and give him more tawfiq to work for the revival of the ummah and to enlighten the hearts of the followers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers, for today's topic I have recited a verse of the Holy Quran of Surah al A'raf, verse number 157, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the requirements, has mentioned the method and the ways which are required if one wants to achieve success, if one wants to be a successful Muslim in this life and in hereafter. And if one wants to be a true believer and wants to have a strong link with his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Okay. Why does one need a strong link with the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Why does one need a strong nisbah with the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Because when one dies, when one passes away and is in his grave, on her grave or her grave, then there is an examination, a test which will take place. And in this test, what will be asked is, مَا كُنْتَ تَقُولُ فِي حَقِّ هَذِهِ الرَّجُلِ مُحَمَّدِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ You will be asked, we will be asked, what we know, how is our relationship, how is our link with, this, with our beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. And the result of that test, the result of that examination in the grave, totally depends on our answer. 
and if our relationship with our Prophet is strong, if we have a strong nisbah, if we have a strong taluk, rabta, nisbah with the Holy Prophet then our result will be a positive one. And if we don't give the right answer, if we don't establish or have established a strong relationship with Allah, with His Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam, Allah's Prophet, then what will happen is our result will be negative. And secondly, because Allah subhanahu wa taala in the Quran has, in Surah Al-Araf, has mentioned, "فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِهِ وَأَزَرُوهُ وَنَصَرُوهُ وَاتَّبَعُوا النُّورَ الَّذِي أُنْزِلَ مَعَهُ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ" The people who will achieve success in this life and the hereafter. Those who will be successful in this life and in the hereafter. These will the people. These will be the people who have attached themselves to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam. These people have attached themselves with the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and they have fulfilled four required uh, four requirements. They have fulfilled four requirements. And what are these four requirements? The Quran says, فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِهِ The first requirement, if one wants to attach himself with the Prophet ﷺ, if one wants to have a strong relationship, and if one wants to be able to give the right answer in his grave, when he is asked about the Prophet ﷺ, then the first requirement is فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِهِ That you believe in the Prophet ﷺ. And the second is وَأَزَّرُوهُ The second requirement of attaching yourself to the Prophet ﷺ is that you وَأَزَّرُوهُ That you at most respect him. The third requirement is وَنَسَرُوهُ And that you assist him وَاتَّبَعُ النُّورِ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ مَعَهُ and the fourth requirement of attaching yourself with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam is that you that you follow that light which has been revealed upon him. So this, these are the four requirements which are mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. So dear viewers, if we want to have a strong nisbah a strong relationship with our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. Then according to the Quran, we need to fulfill these four requirements. If one only fulfills one requirement or two requirements and he doesn't fulfill the other two requirements or if one fulfills the two last requirements and not the first two requirements, then this person, such a person, will have a relationship with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but his relationship will not be perfect and his relationship will not be that relationship which will which will give him the ability to achieve success and which will give him the ability to achieve success in this life and the hereafter let me first explain to you that if when one becomes successful, what does this mean? What is this success Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about? This success is success in dunya and success is in akhira. It is kamyabi and kamrani it's been, it's this, in this dunya and in the hereafter. The people who attach themselves with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and have a strong relationship with him these people are the ones who are successful in this life. What does this mean? These are the people whose character is enlightened with the nisbah of the Prophet wasallam. that people become motivated, become, people become inspired with them, by them. And because of their character, people come closer to Islam. Unfortunately, nowadays, the Muslim Ummah, we are facing a a downfall, a zawal, for the last two centuries. And the Muslim Ummah is ill. The whole Ummah of the Prophet is ill. And what is this illness? That we are not successful. When people hear about Muslims, they have a negative image of the Muslims. Through the media, 
they perceive a negative image of the Muslims. Unfortunately, through the character of the Muslims, generally speaking, people who are not Muslims, they perceive a very negative image of Islam. This is an illness. We are not successful in this life. Before, for last nine, ten centuries, when Muslims were leading the whole world in peace and in harmony, they were living together with Christians, with Jews, with other people of other religions, other nations. At that time, people, when they met Muslims, when they dealt with Muslims, they used to be motivated and inspired and they wanted to study Islam. They wanted to know about the background of these people, of the Muslims. But unfortunately, nowadays, the whole situation has changed. Nowadays, our akhlaq, our character of a Muslim is such that when people see us, unfortunately, many of them, they leave Islam. I would like to narrate one specific event which took place. One of my shayukh, he was in Leiden University in the Netherlands a few years ago. And he spoke to one orientalist, to one orientalist, an academic. And this orientalist disclosed the fact to my sheikh that he previously accepted Islam. He accepted Islam, but now he has become a murtad. He has left Islam. My sheikh asked him, what is the reason that you once accepted Islam and after accepting Islam, now you have become a murtad. Now you are a disbeliever. Now you have rejected Islam. He said, I became a Muslim because I studied the Quran. I studied the hadith of the Prophet And because I got inspired, I got motivated. I accepted Islam. But since I became a Muslim, I started going to the mosque. I started dealing with Muslims. And when I dealt with Muslims, when I saw their character, then I came to the conclusion that whatever Islam is giving us, Quran and Hadith is giving us, that is not found in the Muslims, in the character of Muslims. I found the character of the Muslims totally opposite than the character of, then whatever is mentioned in the Quran and the Hadith, the guideline which is mentioned. So he said, because of this hypocrisy, because of, his, because of this hypocrisy, I left Islam. Because I said, this is not a practical code of life. Because if it would, I would have met anybody. I would have seen people following this.